Coming up, we've got to cut this corner out where my machine is. Got to cut this out to widen for that turn. Just kind of exploring in here. <laughs> it's the shortest power pole ever. All right, friends. Check out this grade that we've got to work with. We're on one steep mountainside. We've got to cut a place in for a quite large, we've got to cut into this hillside for a fairly large building. It's gonna be interesting. It is the next day. And what we're gonna start with today, we are up here at the second switchback. Customer's got his tractor with letter. He's gonna shuttle dirt. And I am gonna start widening this little uh, switch back out. Hopefully. Oh, we're hitting rock already. That's never a good sign, is it? Let's just get dirt. I'm just gonna toss it off the side here for a second. This may be quite the challenge. May have to bring a hammer in. Let's, let's get rid of that for now. We're gonna have to get into better stuff. This old bank right here is just kind of crumbling. surplus of dirt I'll go up there and start digging that hillside out this is just part of working in the mountains though it's encouraging to see that falling apart but it is still pretty hard stuff I can see needing a hammer see how that big chunk just broke out
doing right now is I've already cut a little shelf in down at the bottom there. Watch for that cable over my head. But any good topsoil I'm pulling out, I'm just kind of letting it fall off to my side. And then clay I'm going to throw over that way. It's getting close to the time of year for all of these trees to start dropping their seeds. And that's going to stabilize this hillside. All that rubbish that I've thrown down there, that's just kind of an extra safety for catching rocks if I roll one out. And I'm just digging into this hillside. Exactly how far we'll need to go, but I think this is probably good right here. By the time I cut this hillside in and down, it'll be a pretty good little spot. I'm not even sure if these if that line is still in use. big and heavy these little saplings will flip up and hit my cable line up there which I don't think it would hurt it but I'd rather be safe than sorry sorry's tend to get expensive in this business
maybe we won't go sliding off the mountainside. It's quite impressive how fast he's moving material with that tractor. Usually tractors are not very quick, but he appears to be quite handy with it. So I think instead of bouncing back and forth, we'll be better off for me to keep transferring this to where he can get to it easily with his tractor. And I can use this big stone to build kind of a retaining wall for the uh, fill material here. I get the rock to stay where I want. At any rate, a lot of times it is better for two people on two machines just to work in tandem and work together. Plus a lot of times wasted tracking back and forth. That's the tractor is uh, He's working that thing. I'm gonna try to pull the big rock out. Cause that'll really mess up his volume that he can move. That stuff, it's hard to paw at, but once you break it out, it just falls right apart. of how fast you're moving that with that tractor. Uh, you're moving about as quick as I can paw it and break it out. And then I'm gonna use the big chunks to build a retaining wall here. So it'd probably go quicker if we just work together on this and then move up there. So if I move quicker. chill in there all time right around the corner so here's the next cutout we've got to do Ken's having to shuttle some dirt to make room Ken's having to shuttle dirt to make room for me to dig that out more down there in the meantime I've got this nice little hillside that has to be cut out it's pretty steep battery died I guess very many Ken's chainsaw as i was saying now we've got to cut this hillside out i think we got to cut it in 50 feet so that's going to be pretty tall up there got to take that big white oak down probably those and this maple right here got about three hours let's see what we can get done we're going to use a very scientific method to figure out how far in we need to go or how far up the hill we need to go to get 50 feet in actually it needs to be a little more he's got a long tape measure we're going to tie it on to the end of my boom and i'm going to stick it straight up in the air and that way one of us can hike up 
the hillside and get a measurement that's pretty straight. Otherwise, we'd have to use some trigonometry, which we could, but this is easier, and I'm lazy. While we're waiting on Ken to get back up here, in the meantime, I've got my machine. I've got my machine placed kind of midways where the building pad's going to be. It's stationed. What I'm going to do in order to get up there to work those trees, I'm going to come over here, clean these tops off. Right here's a good entry point. I'm going to cut myself a little access road up through there. Make life easier on myself. And that road will cut in and behind where that pad's got to be cut to. And that way I'm pushing these trees down. Start cutting this pad down, push the dirt out. It's going to be a good time. made it customers going to come up cut this tree and a couple of others I got my little pad in as well as my little access trail I just gotta wait for some trees to pick up let's go down here and watch the boss man drop a good sized oak white oak I think boy when that joker comes down You'll hear that. Oh yeah, I think I'm seeing some movement in the top of that bad boy. Timber. 
If you're enjoying this video and you think you'd like to get into this kind of business, I can help you. Be sure to check in the description. I'll have my email address. Shoot me a quick email. We'll go over current pricing for business consultations. I can go over the ins and outs and the easiest ways to get your LLC or sole proprietor if you want to run it that way. And we'll give you the best start possible in getting into this business.